The Ravens 53-man roster is here, and we're about to break it all down for you here on Ravens Rundown. But first, want to make sure you're subscribed to the channel as we are in high pursuit for 11,000 subs here on Ravens Rundown. For the latest happenings of your favorite team, we cover it all. When the Ravens make a move, we make a video. That's how it works. Subscribe now for free. Join the family, and we'll get started with this edition of Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports. We begin looking at the cuts for the Ravens. Let's go through them one by one, beginning where this all started. Shabar Bridges with an injury settlement. DeAndre Houston Carson, Corey Mason, Trey Botts, Caesar, uh, Big Jake, uh, Sanders, Demas Jr., Mason Hayes, all gone. Meanwhile, David Sharp, Christian Welch, Melvin Gordon, probably the biggest name on this list. He is gone. He's been beaten out by rookie undrafted free agent Keaton Mitchell. Thank heavens. More on that later. Deshaun Manning, Jalen Thomas, Doss, Seymour's gone. Prochet, Vo Vokovec, uh, Sean Ryan, all gone. Jeremiah Moon, Sam Mustafer, Laquan Treadwell, Brent Urban, Josh Johnson, Owen Wright, Tariq Black, Angelo Blackson, Rashad Nichols, and Josh Ross all get cut. Few more names as well: Daryl Worley, uh, Jeremy Lucian, Nick Moore, Anthony Brown, and Caillou Blue Kelly all gone as well. Blue Kelly, of course, was drafted out of Stanford. Disappointing to see in particular that he doesn't earn a spot. So those are all the cuts that have gone on for your Baltimore Ravens. And now we'll go through the depth chart in just a moment of the 53-man roster. What is your one-word reaction to the moves? The Ravens made. Give it to me in the comment section. One word to describe it all. What do you think? My one word is finally. You waited to seven o'clock on a what Tuesday night to, to deliver this news to us. Finally, you got it taken care of. Give me your one word of reaction. Let us know in the comment section. Quarterback position. Tyler Huntley lives to see another day. As there's a lot of question marks. We had heard that Todd Munkin wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of Tyler Huntley as a passer. Ultimately, Huntley is their guy. We didn't see a whole lot of Tyler Huntley uh, over the preseason. Most of the snaps went to Josh Johnson and Anthony Brown, but Huntley will back up Lamar Jackson for the time being. The backfield consists of J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, Keaton Mitchell, and Patrick Ricard. J.K. Dobbins, is likely going to be your leading bell cow, but look out for this rotation to get plenty of action. Keaton Mitchell, big for him, a UDFA to make this roster, also going to have an impact as a receiver as well. Patrick Ricard, we've seen him move around a little bit, even playing on the offensive lines of some sorts. We'll see what type of role he has in Bunkins' offense as a fullback. Six receivers for the Ravens, and this is the best receiving core the Ravens have had in a very long time, maybe ever. OBJ comes to town a year removed from the ACL injury. Rashad Bateman, Nelson Aguilar, Devin Duvernay, Tylen Wallace gets the final spot as the number six receiver, but everybody's talking about Zay Flowers. Nicknamed Joystick by Lamar Jackson, widely viewed as the MVP of Ravens training camp in in preseason action of the small sample size that we saw, he looked like the best player on the field for the Baltimore Ravens. His preseason statistics included two catches for 37 yards and a touchdown. He was a problem for defenses that he faced uh, in those couple of preseason games. And Eric Costa had this to say about Zay Flowers, saying, I haven't come across many more impressive face-to-face -face prospects that I've ever interviewed at the Combine in February than here in Baltimore. His story, his resiliency, his ability to just succeed and handle things was really, really impressive. And I quite frankly agree. Who's your favorite player on the Ravens roster? Obviously, there's some great guys to choose from, whether it's Lamar, Zay, OBJ, Roquan Smith. Who comes to mind? Who is your favorite player on this Ravens roster? Give me one name that is your favorite out of all of them and let us know in the comment section. To the tight end position, it is going to be Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely, and Charlie Kolar is the three leading the way. And we've heard that Todd Munkin plans to use multiple tight ends on the field at the same time. A lot of 12 personnel. 
We knew Andrews is as good as any tight end in the league. Isaiah likely coming off a stellar rookie season. But Charlie Kolar had a breakout campaign over the last several weeks throughout camp and the preseason, and he's expected to play a significant role. The former fourth-round pick out of Iowa State missed most of last season with a sports hernia injury, but he was spectacular in the preseason with eight catches for 120 yards. Looks very similar, in my humble opinion, to Mark Andrews, and he caught the attention of John Harbaugh. Harbaugh said this recently about Kolar. He's become a much better blocker in contested catches. I think that's something he's taken a big step forward with. Big plays, middle of the field, controlling the middle of the field. That's his goal. He's very capable of doing that. You saw it flash really well in the preseason. The offensive line, the Ravens going with nine offensive linemen. There was question marks about whether or not they would keep Ben Cleveland around. Ultimately, didn't win the left guard competition. Was kind of already out of it before it started. He'll back up at right guard to go along with Stanley. John Simpson will start at left guard. Linderbaum uh, and company there, as you can see. We're also keeping our eyes on Ball uh, of what he potentially does. Could he slide into one of those starting guard spots at some point? He was one of the breakout players at camp for the Baltimore Ravens. Big thing is going to stay healthy, in particular Ronnie Stanley, because if they can stay healthy, this is going to be a really good group, and they'll need it the way the Ravens want to run the football. The defensive line now, that's where we go next. As Broderick Washington, uh, Michael Pierce, Justin Metabuke, Travis Jones, and Jadavian Clowney take those spots. Clowney we could see at defensive end. You could see him out, outside backer. But for now, it seems like he'll play that defensive end spot for the Baltimore Ravens. Very good group. Uh, we heard that the Costin company wanted more, one more pass rusher. They got that. With Clowney, we'll see what type of role he plays in this Ravens defense. Folks, I know it's it's a tough business when you make these decisions like this. Uh, as we say goodbye to some players that we very well may have connected very well with over the last uh, couple of months. So here's what I want to do. Spam good luck in the chat to say goodbye and well wishes to these players that didn't make the roster. Some of them will stick around, potentially be on the practice squad. But go ahead and spam it in the comment section. Let's say good luck to those guys and wish them nothing but the best in their futures as they try to continue their careers in the National Football League or whatever they do next. To the outside backers and now, Adafi Owe, David Ajabo, Robinson, and how about Malik Ham, the undrafted free agent, makes it on the roster and... As we were trying to chart where guys were ending up who was making the roster, you know who broke the news about Malik Ham making the roster? His mom on Facebook. I'm not Facebook friends with her, but I do have sources. Uh, meanwhile, the inside linebacker spot, Patrick Queen and Roquan Smith will lead the way there. Queen ultimately was not traded, despite all the speculation that there was out there that he would eventually get moved. He's still around. Roquan Smith... Uh, Malik Harrison, Trenton Simpson, Trenton Simpson, uh, a lot of excitement about him as a third-round pick, but he showed during the preseason he's still very raw, going to take some adjusting to get used to playing at the NFL level. Meanwhile, Delshawn Phillips also there as well. The corners, uh, they're a little bit banged up right now. One of the things that I took away from seeing this was that they didn't put guys on pup to miss the first four games. Expect Rockyson and Marlon Humphrey to be back very soon. The idea with Humphrey was probably the first two games. Rockyson should be back, you would hope, for the opener. Arthur Mollette, Jalen Arbor Davis, Ronald Darby, who the Ravens signed uh, just a few days ago. He'll probably step in to start at outside backer uh, while Marlon Humphrey is out for the time being. Brandon Stevens and Demarion Williams also make it as well. The safety room is very loaded. Kyle Hamilton looking to have a huge season in his second year in Baltimore. Meanwhile, Marcus Williams is also on this roster. The all-pro safety in his own right. They should be a terrific one-two punch, backed up by Geno Stone and Darius Washington. And Kyle Hamilton, or as we like to call him, Hamilton, because uh, he is him. He's expected to be a full-time starter, played in 16 games last year with four starts as a rookie. And Hamilton, who 
we at Chat Sports had rated as the number one player in the entire draft last year. Uh, he has made it very clear. His goals for 2023 are to be a Pro Bowl type player and to win championships. And when asked about how he's going to be used, John Harbaugh had a pretty interesting answer recently. Harbaugh said he's not going to be the nickel per se. He'll be a safety, a traditional safety role. probably not in our defense because we move our guys around. Our safeties are rushing the passer. They're playing linebacker. They're running from the line of scrimmage back to the deep middle. Last but least, not, not the case with Justin Tucker. You get the idea. Justin Tucker uh, and Jordan Stout are your kicker and punter duo, as good as any combo in the National Football League. And then Tyler Ott uh, is going to be your starting long snapper, comes over from the Seattle Seahawks to fill that void. So there it is, the 53-man roster for your Baltimore Ravens. How would you grade it? Grade it for me in the comment section, A, B, C, D, or F. What do you think of the roster that John Harbaugh and Eric DaCosta have assembled for 2023? Let us know in the comment section. Stay subscribed to the channel. Still got more stuff to come this week with the waiver wire. We'll keep you up to date what's going on there. You'll find out uh, the latest on your Baltimore Ravens. Stay tuned. Play, stay locked into the channel. We'll have you covered. Subscribe now for free. We'll see you next time right here on Ravens Rundown. Thank you.